Hi there. I'm Ian McMahon, uh, lead SDK developer here at Rethink Robotics. Um, I'm here today to show you the Sawyer Research robot. Sawyer has been a proven manufacturing robot, and we decided to port the SDK to Sawyer for you guys. So here today, I actually have an integration with the MoveIt path planning libraries. As you can see, we have Arvis and um, the Sawyer robot is being modeled uh, in the virtual environment here. Um, I can actually command the robot to move a particular trajectory just like you would with your Baxter research robot by grabbing the wrist and moving it to any particular location, like so. All right, we set our final goal location here and we're going to plan an RRT trajectory to get to that state. As you can see, the planner came up with a path. It should be an obstacle-free path that does not come into collision with the robot. And then we can execute. Just like that. The next thing I wanted to show is um, Sawyer's wrist Cognex camera. You can actually visualize the camera through Arviz um, streaming. So here we have Sawyer's wrist camera actually facing the robot and overlaying the robot's model on top of the physical robot. We can see that by turning off the robot model and then turning it back on to see the overlaid visualization. This is pretty nifty, but it can actually get even cooler. In particular, you can use Arviz's built-in effort visualization tool to look at the torques being uh, read by the series elastic actuators um, sensors on board the robot. So here, we can enable the effort topic and then display effort. These are the efforts being read by the Sawyer robot. If we go back over to the Sawyer robot, we can see right here that each of the efforts is being rendered at each of the joints. Uh, small amounts of effort on the head and on the J0 joint. The J1 joint is taking the bulk of the effort. Now, these efforts are actually normalized uh, as they're being displayed over the entire range of the effort of the joints. That's all we've got for today. Uh, thanks for taking a first look at Sawyer Research Robot and the SDK integration with Ross.